this is ECOT TV Market Focus with Michael Levy of Lightwave Logic. Michael, nice to speak to you again. You've spoken to the, at the Market Focus today. What has been some of the main points you've been making to what was a packed audience? Oh, well, today I really talked about polymers, the use of nonlinear optical polymers as a platform for PICs, photonic integrated circuits. Now, polymer, as you know, is a spin on material. And you can spin it on to indium phosphide, you can spin it on to silicon photonics, but you can use the polymers uh, with high speed modulated devices on top of these semiconductor platforms to create a new competitive polymer platform of PICs. But polymers, you know, have been around quite a long time. They've got quite a history, haven't they? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I worked in polymers 20 years ago. And in fact, in the 1980s and the 1990s, there was huge amounts of investment, both from corporate companies, big, large corporate companies, as well as uh, governments like US government and the European government into nonlinear optical polymers. Now, as we fast forward over the 80s and the 90s, that investment waned. And the question is, is why did it wane? Why was there limited return? Well, it really was because of the temperature stability of the polymers. Um, the market everybody was going for was the telecom to try and compete with the lithium niobate modulator. And if you look at some of the results, the polymer performance has been fantastic. However, the temperature stability, they couldn't really get it above 100 degrees. And so, the telecommunications industry would not buy polymers, even though there were some great performance and great qualifications. And that really um, bootstrapped the whole industry and you see very limited commercial work today. So is there still enormous potential for polymers? Well, absolutely. Well, the things that have changed from the telecom mentality, which is 20-year life and high reliability and high temperature stability, now we're looking at data communications with data centers and high performance computing. You don't need those temperature ranges. You don't need those temperature stabilities. So if you have a polymer that exceeds 100 degrees like we have, then you can access those markets. So in essence, the specifications have become a lot more flexible, a lot more easier to attain using this technology. Therefore, I'm excited because polymers now have a chance. So polymers time has come. I believe it has. And so when you really think about what we're doing today is we're trying to push polymers from 25 gigabits per second to 50 gigabits per second. If you can do that, you've got four modulators of 50 gigs per second with a PAM4, so that's 400 gigabits per second. Or if you push it to 100 gigabits per second, you have four modulators, PAM4, 800 gigabits per second. And you really need to show a scalable, low cost high performance technology that can scale to 800 gigabits per second. Fantastic, very interesting. Thank you very much for talking to Thank us. Thank you, Brian.